All right. So <laughs> for the second time, we're going to do a review of this game. Uh, this is, oh, and I didn't even intro out. This is Smug Buffalo. If you're watching this on YouTube, I do these talks or discussions or game-related discussions uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, my stream starts at 8 a.m. and ends at about 10.30 a.m. Um, and somewhere in, the, in, in that stream time, we do the discussion. The reason why I um, open it up for kind of uh, the the... The stream, the, sorry, the talk time is very tentative is because I'd like to have a discussion with people. So if you want to join the discussion, you can come and join the chat and uh, be a part of that discussion and see. Uh, oh, I, it'd be cool to see how wrong you guys think I am <laughs> or how right, I guess you guys think I am. So um, just go over to twitch.com forward slash smug buffalo. I'm Smug Buffalo on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff as well. Um, and uh, I'll see you there if you want to hang out. For, for this particular discussion, we're going to be doing a 120-hour review of SnowRunner. The only reason why I'm saying a 120-hour review is because I've played this game for just over five days straight. Not in one sitting, obviously, but I've got 120 hours of clocked time playing this game and i'd like to do a review that is just about the bare bones mechanics of this game uh the stuff that i'm probably not going to cover are things related to uh, stuff that get patched that gets patched out or modded out um later on like definitely mods that changes a lot of dynamic of the game I, I don't know if that's necessarily fair to do a solid review on that at this point. Whereas, um, or, or, and also things like, I guess the mirrors didn't work on the console version that did get patched out, patched out little stuff like that. Um, I won't, I won't be reviewing or, or basing my review on, on anything like that. Um, so first off, if, if, if you're interested in this game, because it looks super cool, just understand that it's very slow paced. It's kind of an easygoing, relaxing, almost relaxing experience. Um, it can be very extreme at some times uh, with the right vehicles and the right setting. Um, but that requires just a little bit of creativity to kind of see that um, or see the fun in that. If you're here for a like solid hardcore gameplay experience, then that's totally for you. I don't know if this is necessarily the review for you um, because I obviously like to have a little bit of fun and try to break the game and stuff like that. So this is kind of more along that lines, this review, I guess. Um, if you're into like puzzles, then you'll, you'd probably like this game. It's very, it's like a movement based or a vehicular based puzzle game because it's not just the the you're not just getting stuck in the mud or in the snow or whatever you also have many other things to kind of help you along in that process i just got through spending 20 minutes on something that i ended up in the exact same spot that i started in when i screwed it all up and then realized oh wait i could have done this and i got myself out in like 30 seconds so it's uh definitely i would consider a puzzle game and and it's a constant, like, ever evolving puzzle. It's really, it's a really interesting way to do a game, I guess. Um, in 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 that, I would say it's very much like if you like Death Stranding, then this is basically the same game. It's you're picking up stuff. You know, the game loop is you pick up stuff, you take it to location, you have obstacles in the way while you're trying to get to that location um there's no obviously there's no like rain or or well there's no there's no death fall i guess i forget what they call it in death death stranding um let's see da, 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 da. Oh, oh, oh oh another factor that's really nice about this game is that it lets you tackle the order in which you do things uh on the game so um it kind of opens up the map and there's no 
like direction there's no storyline there's no you could just open up pathways you could just you know drive around and do like local tasks a lot of people i've noticed online seem to just kind of be driving around in the mud like not necessarily doing anything really it looks like um many vehicles so there's all kinds uh, another good positive i guess about the game is um right now you're looking at a vehicle that i have if this thing's basically a tank but uh something that this game allows you to do is change multiple variables of of the world by only letting you change the variables of your vehicle so definitely uh, a lower end or a, a one vehicle may have a really easy time with one thing but have an incredibly hard time with another thing whereas another vehicle that could be flipped whereas later on you can get a vehicle that kind of gets through everything but everything has its give and take right a vehicle could be super powerful could get things done really easily but then only have like this vehicle a 200 liter tank which makes you feel like every 16 minutes you're gonna have to refill you're gonna have to refill your tank so there's there's that as as well each each tiny little thing um that you change to your vehicle can actually make a very huge difference in the game for sure um let's see game really oh yeah the game really does open up once you find the right vehicle for you so if you're starting out and you're getting yourself frustrated that happened to me i got myself kind of frustrated for the first three hours or so of the game it's kind of a slow crawl kind of game so that that's pretty reasonable um but once i got the right vehicle for me it was the uh, paystar um once i got that vehicle the game opened up and i really felt like i had um, control on the map and i could get around much better um, getting better trucks sooner than later can feel a little game breaking but uh, it does not change the game experience. Now, I've noticed some streamers or, or other players. What's that? Oh. <laughs> um, I've noticed some players kind of feel they need to do this very realistic, hard mode kind of version of the game. I'm not sure I necessarily agree. Um, they'll, they'll feel almost slighted to some degree because you're using a, a truck from russia in the michigan map um generally let's be clear the michigan map is an easy map and so it doesn't necessarily matter what vehicle you're using um and i wouldn't necessarily see the need to beat yourself against the uh, beat, beat yourself beat your head against the wall over and over and over on using a vehicle that just isn't made for this portion of the map once i started unlocking other vehicles the game just completely opened up i was able to get things completed that euphoric feeling gets shot into your brain because you're completing things and you feel good about it because of all the struggle you just went through to get it done and you still have that struggle whether the truck is super upgraded and super capable or not um oh and then another thing uh, that I would definitely say really changes the game experience for you is the little time trials. There's these time contests in the game that uh, subver subvert the expectation of the game. So the the game is in general is a slow crawl and you kind of move along slowly, but you get to your point. If you're ha if you're moving, you're good. The contracts or little time trials put a time limit on that. So now you feel a little rushed. Well, it, that changes the vehicles that you start to use. This vehicle here is incredibly powerful and incredibly fast, um, but it has crappy gas like we've we talked about before. So this is a great vehicle for time trials, but not really a great vehicle for anything else. So that's something to kind of consider as well. Uh, the, they definitely open up a lot of the game for you with all the different tasks that they have and so on and so forth so all in all as, as far as the core review goes if you're into a slow paced game if you're into simulators if you're into puzzles and if you liked death stranding by any degree as far as its gameplay mechanics go then this is a game for you this is just kind of a fun relaxing interesting thought-provoking uh uh informational 
kind of gaming experience because i'm not a trucker i don't know the first thing about this but i kind of feel like i do now <laughs> which is ridiculous um and then lastly i'll finish out with some tips as far as uh what my 120 hours has uh awarded me as far as far as just things i feel like might help other people um first tip first and honestly most important tip is upgrade your vehicle as soon as you can and i'm not talking about the cosmetic stuff i'm talking about the uh like core gameplay changing stuff the gearboxes the engines um you know things like that they they really do make a big big difference um second to upgrading really quickly is finding those upgrades really quickly um there's a couple good online resources i think it's called uh maprunner.info i believe is the website um where you can kind of go and click around and see where all of the upgrades are at a lot of them are shown on the map um, a thing that can help find those upgrades is unlocking the um watchtowers so do whatever order you want to start the game i recommend watchtowers upgrades and then tasks and contracts or contracts and then tasks that's really up to you um, wheel size makes a massive difference so you might have a 47 inch wheel um, maybe have a hard time through this portion of the map you get the upgrade for the lift kit and then you can uh, get like a 50 inch or 51 inch or whatever it is uh, tire or wheel um, that makes a massive difference to the game you'll again kind of what I was saying before once you get the truck that's right for you the game really opens up the the game opens up even more so or becomes much easier once you have the right uh, the right upgrades for the truck that you like um, let's see don't be afraid to recover I, I can't stress this enough sometimes you're just again beating your head against the wall trying to get something completed and if you just kind of recover and reset then you're good oh i'm gonna sneeze again this is awful i apologize um co-op in the beginning super helps so i did probably the first maybe two or three game sessions there's three or four hours a piece um by myself and then somebody on chat advised me to open up co-op and people can hop in and they did they hopped in and they kind of help me make some extra cash, get some missions completed. As Actually, hold on. I jumped into other people's matches. I didn't jump into my own because I didn't want my map to be touched at the time. I would jump into other people's matches and they would complete stuff that I was already I had already completed. But it kind of doubled up the experience points and the, um, the money gained from each, you know, quest or, or whatever. Um right so contracts will open up the map and move you to the next map so there's there's going to be a point in which you're pulling up to an entrance this is kind of for a, a new a newer player pulling up to an entrance and you can't go through it it's the contracts if you read through the contracts you'll see which ones will unlock the entrance to said location and then my final uh tip i guess or well not my final let me put one more in here Use the here, let me move my use the uh, sideboard flatbed, not the regular flatbed. I can't tell you how many times I've tipped, and my items have stayed in the truck even though they've come undone because I was using this flatbed. It's definitely a, a pro tip. And then another pro tip. I guess I'm gonna have to show you because I don't know how another way to make this more clear. Your winch is your really useful but annoying sidekick. So annoying as in when you auto winch, it'll inevitably look, it did it right there. I've got all these trees around. They're great, tough trees. I'm in a, I don't know, couple ton heavy truck and it winched to this little branch that broke. <laughs> so it's, that's super, super annoying, right? but at the same time let's say you're stuck somewhere and you've got nothing to winch to like you've used let's say this tree right here to pull yourself forward but now you can't pull yourself forward anymore what you can do 
is you attach the winch to the back of the truck and then winch towards something at the front of the truck. This is different for me because I'm on this stupid controller. There you go. Now, when you're pulling, you can pull the whole vehicle. I'm not pressing the gas at all. You can pull the whole vehicle forward the length of the vehicle. Kind of get yourself a little bit of a leg up. I mean, right now we're stuck on the little edge there. This is such a great example, right? I'm literally stuck right now. Wow. All right. Well, that's my tips. That's the review. Uh, I kind of fumbled through that. I'm working on this. If you guys enjoy this type of stuff at all, or if you want to uh, see what else I come up with to talk about, um, you can join us on Twitch, Smug Buffalo, uh, 8 a.m. to about uh, 10.30 a.m. Central Time. Um, and we do these talks in there for the next couple weeks, just to be totally clear, we may not do any discussions because last of us is coming out. And so I'll probably play that solid for, for a couple weeks. And, uh, yeah, if you want to be a part of that too, by all means, come on over, follow, subscribe, or I don't know, whatever people say, have a, ha have a good one. Thank you very much for stopping by.